guys welcome to another episode we are at the same place we was just at two days ago except this time we got minnows and I'm gonna try for one of those magnolia crappies that we didn't get last year but caught two of them two years ago seeing if there's still that rare chance that there's some setting in here so I'm gonna use a minnow and a bobber and try to get a magnolia crappie and I will be tickled to death if I can get one. I think no matter what, we'll at least catch some nice crappie, both black and white, and probably get a nice gar, and probably get a nice spotted bass. It's gonna be hard, in fact, to keep the gar away from my minnows, but there's a gar right in front of me that's easily 36 inches long. It's a big old long nose. Probably the one that got off the other day right at the bank because she dip netted it, tried dip netting it backwards. Don't ever dip net a fish backwards, guys. It don't work out. Always do it from the head. I learned that lesson with a bow fin one time. It just don't work. There's, no, that's two of them. So, no, that is a giant one too. I got something really big. Oh God, it's one of them gar and he's that big one. It's that big one. It's one of them. I gotta let him play. Okay, the dip net is behind me in the grass over by my backpack somewhere. You'll see it laying there. He's not even started fighting yet. He's gonna get me in that brush pile. Try to go get it. Here in a second. God, thought I had a big crappie for a minute, man. I knew they'd get in the way. He's a nice one though, look at that. He's probably 30. It ain't the one that I seen. That other one's a whole foot bigger than this one. Trying to wear him down where he just kind of gets real tired, but I don't think he's even started fighting yet, honestly. And then I'm going to have to get the gloves out of my backpack, too. I'll wait till after you dip net him, though. Guys, this is a big gar. He's probably about 36, actually. He's, a, he's up there, mid 30. Got off. He didn't break my line, but he got off. He left me a minnow head only. God, that was a big old gar too. That's two days in a row I've missed a nice one. God. Whoa, there's a bowfin right in front of me. Oh, oh. Yes, it is. Oh, he's coming. He's coming for the minnow. That's a bowfin. He sees it. Oh, he's more interested in the bobber. Uh, no, he's looking at that stick. Oh, oh. oh, he's seen it. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going. Oh, there he is. I got him. Sight, fo sight fished a bowfin, guys. Now you definitely want to go get the net. He's five or six pounds anyway. That was so cool. I'm so used to seeing nothing but gar on the top. I'm like, that looks different. It was a freaking bowfin, man. Right when I said there's a bunch of nice fish in here this year, but the wrong kind. This is not the wrong kind for me, guys. I love bowfin. It's over by the backpack. In the grass. Right behind the backpack. And after you dip net him, I'll get the gloves. Boy, 
it's a beautiful one. I might be lucky and get one that's green. I think it's too late for that, but. Yeah, it's a nice one. He's probably six pounds. It's a big one. It's the biggest one I've ever had out of here. For sure. Yes. Oh, my. He's about, yeah, he's seven pounds. Oh, my gosh. Um... I'm gonna have to just go, should we go to the very top maybe? Just to I eliminate the risk, go by the van. Okay, you, I'll go up. That way, that way, you don't need to go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Well, I need to get my gloves. I think I'm gonna have to cut my line. He swallowed that thing. That was so awesome, guys. I have never in my life sight fist a bow fin. Feels both. Now that's a bow fin, guys. What a catch. Big old fat female bow fin. Showing up good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What a catch. You can dig it up the hook. Wow, that's a look how big her belly is. That's a female. Wow. First bowfin of the year, guys. Definitely won't be the last. We're getting ready to go after these in about two weeks every day for a while. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let me wash my gloves and then I'm gonna wash the bit in there. There's not a guard. Oh, okay. That was something else. Got it. Crappie. Told you it wasn't a gar. That's a big crappie too. Oh my. Is it a magnolia though? Nope. It's a nice white though. Hey, hey, hey. Come out and play. Nice white crappie. He's 10. Easily 10. Alright guys. Nice crappie. That's what I came for. The bowfin was just a bonus. It's not the magnolia I wanted or black nose, but hey. Can you, real quick. I'll just hand it to you. It is recording. Mm. Not a bad little crappie, guys. Kind of thin, maybe spawned out, but nine. It's about nine inches. All right, guys, we're going to see what else we can get. We only got about 45 good minutes. Not bad, crappie. Bingo. Nino. Mm -hmm. Nino. Crappie, and it's a nice one. There was a gar after it at the same time. Did you see him? Is it a magnolia, black nose? Just a white? Hold on, because I want to take a picture of you. All right, guys, she got a white crappie as well, about eight or nine. That may even be a hybrid crappie. Because they are in here as well. I got a bite, hold on. Oh yeah, I got something. Please be a crappie. It's, it's a crappie, I got a crappie. I got a crappie, I got a crappie. He just keeps playing with it though. Yeah, it's a white crappie. See, they're coming out to roam around because the sun's getting low. That's the only reason you're we're catching them. All right guys, her first white crappie and first fish of the day, about eight inches.
something was picked. Crappie, black. Wow, he's still dark. Still dark. Guys, here it is almost Memorial Weekend. In fact, it's one day away from Memorial Weekend. And still catching crappie that are dark gray. Absolutely crazy, man. About a seven inch black. All right, that's the third fish for me. Almost four if I would have landed that gar. White crappie, black crappie, both in. Awesome. Take it, take it. God, really? Yeah, just a baby though. Whoa, that was dynamite or something. Oh, get him. Gar, it's hard to get him to stay on. All right guys, a little white crappie and I mean little. Five inches probably. If that, definitely a baby. As soon as it hit the water, I seen him. That's how I caught him. I seen him chasing stuff. All right, guys, not the crappie I'm after. Another little baby one. Little black. There's crappie though. Got a fish behind the branch, I guess. God, that was a decent sized one too. That was a bigger crappie. Got him. Got yep. Look how dark he is. Guys, I'm sitting here catching these crappie on dead minnows. It's south winds and a cold front is coming and they are just biting like crazy. Looks a little white though. Still gray, end of May. Should have been away, but hey, hey. I learned the trick guys, when your minnows are dead, do not use a split shot. Just let your minnow naturally fall. You'll get bite, you'll still get bites. It looks like a dying minnow falling. Usually if you don't get a bite right away, you're not gonna get it, but they, they see that minnow fall, especially at a brush pile like this. They really can't resist it. Minnows do not have to be alive for you to keep catching fish. Oh my. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! No, but it's a nice white crappie. It's easily 12 inches. Now that's what I'm talking about, guys. 12 inch white crappie on a blue ice barbie garland tipped with a dead minnow and i probably would not have caught this if it wasn't for the dead minnow holy smokes man that's a nice one here real quick gosh guys ponds and lakes Specifically small ones, the crappie spawn first. These rivers take till about May. He's 13 inches, he just spawned out. Look how long it is. It's a nice white crappie. Yeah, okay. Good. Too bad we can't keep them out here. Too much fertilizer. That's a giant. For here. 
pretty nice. Well, it's time to go. Well, guys, we had a pretty good day considering how long we had. South winds, declining weather. The fish were really active. I kind of wish I would have uh, went up and got my 15 pound line, or my pole that has the 15 pound line and got one of them gar, because there were some of them in here that were four foot long plus. But I was more interested in getting one of them magnolia. We need to dump the minnows too. And, uh, but I caught five crappie, one nice one. No big bass, unfortunately, but I did get the both in as a bonus. So, not a bad little evening. Until next time, hit that like button and subscribe.